Welcome to the fourth part of the Gaia video tutorial. In this part we'll dive deeper into the OGC uh, support in Gaia. We'll also show them some more rendering and symbology capabilities and we'll finish up with the filter encoding support uh, using the filter builder tool in Gaia. So we'll start with the base map of virtual earth and I'll quickly use a bookmark here to zoom in into Washington DC view. The first thing I want to do is add a layer from a file. The reason I'm going to a file is I want to show how to uh, open a GML file. So I'll use this file here, the schools.gml. Notice that there is a, a pull down of a GML version. Uh, you can use GML 2, 3 or 3.2. This will allow Gaia to know which parser to use on that specific file. I'll use GML 2 and the data was added to my map. If I click uh, on the info tool here and look at the features, notice that uh, Gaia preserves the complex nature of GML, of the XML source. Gaia can actually support uh, support uh, multiple geometries and, and various complex forms of GML. I'll delete this layer and add another one. I want to add an OGC service. Gaia can uh, support uh, web map services, um, web coverage services, and web feature services. What I want to add first is a web map service from NASA. This is the NASA JPL web map service. Uh, when I click on it, I get the capabilities. The capabilities are parsed into this uh, preview. You can see there are various layers. Once I click on the layer, a preview is generated for me. And the selected layer info uh, shows uh, all the information gathered from that uh, web service capabilities. I'll click OK. And that layer is read now from uh, NASA and uh, now I have two um, aerial photography sources I can switch on and off each layer and you can see that uh, the virtual earth layer underneath is exposed now let's add another layer this time from web feature service I'll go to a sample uh, WFS service from Intergraph and add metro lines and metro stations for the DC area. To make it a little bit uh, more appealing, I'll double click on that uh, point symbol and change it to uh, sort my symbols according to travel and select a, a, a train station icon. Resize it just a little bit and click OK. For the metro lines, I want to do something uh, more special. I'll go to properties, go to symbols, and I'll set the line symbol to railroads. Scroll down a little bit and select the railway um, symbol. Now if I go to properties, I can adjust that symbol. So I'll, I'll remove the color lock and I'll uh, beef up the medium, uh, the center line. So that will be our base symbol. But what I really want to do is go to Unique Value Renderer and set Metro Line as the value element for the color settings. So now I have all the uh, railways, red, orange, and so on. I can double click in this tool and set each symbol individually. So what I'm doing now is I'm just setting colors uh, according to the uh, correct um, text. So blue is blue, green is green, and so forth. I can actually use a, a different symbol for each of those items. Uh, but for now, this, this will do just fine. So finally, I'll do the yellow one. Click OK. Close this uh, this dialog here. Click OK, and there you go. So this is much more informative. 
next thing I want to do is let's say I just want to see the green um, well, we I'll open the filter builder tool and I select metro line from this tool the comparison will be is equal to and the value will be green so what that does is create a filter encoding XML this text or this XML is sent uh, to the web service and processed there so this response was actually received from the web service as is that is just the green uh, metro line I can even go further and say what if I want the green and the blue uh, metro lines I'll use a logical union of or because I want to see the green or the blue and I set metro line is equal to blue now Gaia creates the, com the more complex uh, filter for me and I'll click OK and I'll apply that filter and both green and blue railways appear this concludes uh, this part of the tutorial um, I hope you you'll enjoy working with Gaia thank you